In an interview with The Week magazine, an avionics engineer for the AMCA program has said that the AMCA will be getting an electronic pilot feature, who will instruct the flying pilot. The electronic pilot feature will come as an aid to the actual pilot, and will help in making better choices to meet mission objectives including deep strike missions. She also added, that the AMCA will have a long-range radar with extended range detection sensors and network-centric warfare capability. Multispectral sensors will be placed across the airframe, that will allow the pilot to have a 360-degree visual without having to maneuver the fighter jet. The cockpit will have a 3D audio warning system with voice-activated commands, that will reduce the workload of pilots. The group director of the AMCA program has said that the first prototype will be ready after four years of CCS approval, which should be coming any day now. The Aeronautical Development Agency has planned a 10-year roadmap for making the first five prototypes and completing flight tests. The five prototypes will cost close to 900 crore rupees each, but the cost is expected to reduce drastically in the production variant. The AMCA Mark I will be over 70% indigenous, and scientists don't want to scale up the indigenous content further as it would not be economically viable, but the AMCA Mark II variant will have a very high indigenous content of 90%. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment will hand over the final designs of the Rustam II to Hindustan Aeronautics next month after which HAL will start production of the first five airframes, that will exclusively be used for user trials. Aeronautical development establishment is ready with the flight control systems avionics and data linked systems for the first UAV, and has placed orders for 180 horsepower Austro E4 engine that will be used to power them initially. The production variant will have an indigenous operator 220 horsepower diesel turboprop engine, that the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is developing with JM Automotive's Private Limited. The combined armed force requirement is for 76 units, that includes 60 units by the Indian Army, 12 by the Air Force, and 4 units by the Navy. The production variant will be cheaper by 8 times, as it will have 75% of Made in India systems and components. A Peruvian defense magazine has reported, that the Peruvian army is looking to replace its nine Russian Mi-2 helicopters, and India's Dhruv advanced light helicopter built by Hindustan Aeronautics is a possible contender. Hindustan Aeronautics has been eyeing the lucrative market of Latin America, with its indigenously developed Dhruv advanced light helicopter, and HAL is also in contact with other potential customers in the region that includes Bolivia, Brazil and Colombia. The Indian Army's battle tanks and infantry fighting vehicles will soon be equipped with the DRDO-developed advanced 81mm smoke grenades, which are a defensive system that creates smoke screen and blocks lasers and makes it difficult from being hit by the enemy tank. It has successfully completed user trials by the Indian Army in different terrains and high and low temperatures, during which it has also defeated the anti-thermal and anti-laser systems. The technology has been transferred to the Ordnance Factory and private sector firm Solar Group for mass manufacturing, under which the lowest bidder will be getting 60% of the order, and to get the rest 40% order, the next bidder will have to match the lowest price. Oh,